It's that time of year again. Devastatingly hot outside and bafflingly chilly inside. Many people get the symptoms of a cold when they go in and out of air-conditioned rooms. But what is actually going on in our bodies when we react to these shifts in temperature? And how can we help our bodies adjust to these extremes of heat? We spoke to both a Western MD and a traditional Chinese medicine doctor to learn why aircon has this effect and how we can manage the symptoms. When the aircon is turned up to full blast in the office, it's time to pull on a jacket. But head out the door and it's boiling. A sudden shift in temperature like this can stress the body. It's quite hot outside, so there's a big change in temperature. When you suddenly go inside and you're drenched in sweat, it can make you feel a bit dizzy. When there are big temperature changes, it can be hard to adjust. Your body needs to regulate a bit. I get a headache here. One moment you're sweltering on the street, the next you're shivering in an air-conned room. Many people get headaches, dizziness, neck aches, or even nausea. You might mistake these symptoms for fatigue, but this traditional Chinese medicine doctor says it's about your nervous system. When the temperature gets very high, it creates problems for the body's adaptation. That makes the sympathetic nervous system get dysregulated. This is a summer heat and dampness cold. Some people also call it air conitis. But air conitis is not an infection. It's the body's own response to extreme shifts in temperature. It's more intense for people with weak immune systems or who don't exercise regularly. And it can also set off allergic reactions. The temperature gap might be 8 degrees or more. And then it can cause an allergic reaction in the nose, giving you a blocked or runny nose, which then creates a headache. Doctors recommend putting on a light jacket or face mask in rooms with air conditioning, which might ward off some of the symptoms.